completed um, last class uh, that is on um, the make or buy decision the concept right we looked at uh, the concept part as well as the practicals we solved questions uh, so next up is decision making under certainty risk and uncertainty so these are the three situations or categories under which companies would uh, be make choices or decisions for the company the first one is under certain certainty a condition of certainty exists when the decision maker knows with a reasonable certainty what the alternatives are what conditions are associated with each alternative and the outcome of each alternative please notice the word on the first line knows the last word right the decision maker knows so certainty means something that you're certain of that you're sure of what is the upcoming challenge right or what is the uh, you know uh, the the trends or the fashions or the market or the currency fluctuation whatever that happens in the market you as a company or you as a decision maker are completely aware of right and with reasonable certainty you know what are the alternatives to make a choice right let's say in order to make a decision you have three choices with you that means all the three alternatives uh, you are completely aware of okay and for each of this alternative alternative a b as well as c what are the conditions attached to it if you make decision a what are the conditions to accomplish that decision or b or c so with each alternative there are added conditions which you are completely aware of and also the outcome outcome means the final performance once you take up the decision what can you expect if you choose option a what can you expect if you choose option b and what can you accept expect if you choose option c so the decisions to make under certainty is quite easy because you are completely aware of the happenings or of the circumstances in and around the market next is under risk when a manager lacks perfect information risk arises right that's a very common thing while making decision under the state of risk managers must determine the probability associated with each alternative on the basis of available information so here we are talking about condition called risk risk is a possibility of loss or a possibility of gain that's the meaning of risk risk is not always that you lose your investment you lose your market share or you lose your reputation risk is on both cases either you gain or either you lose right that probability is called as risk risk of losing or risk of gaining now when this risk uh, arises is when there is lack of perfect information okay it says lack of perfect information that means is there an information available yes but is that information perfect for decision making no right there is information but the information is imperfect therefore the risk arises so you do not know if you make choice a what would be the outcome okay what if you take up an alternative based on the available imperfect information what would be the final result you are not aware of either it can turn out to be profit or either it can turn out to be loss such a situation is called as decision making under risk when the information is incomplete or imperfect the third category is under uncertainty now here we saw possibility either you gain or either you lose uncertainty is completely unknown okay here the first category is you are aware under certainty you know things you know the market the behavior the fluctuations the information is known here 
it is imperfect or incomplete here it's completely unknown so most significant decision made in today's complex environment are formulated under the state of uncertainty because even either with respect to our lives individual lives we do not know what may happen the very next minute with our lives isn't it so we live we die or what happens we are not certain of right same with the company's future as well or the market's performance as well we do not know within the next minute which uh, you know product is going to go viral which video is going to go viral or you know what news is going to become popular on the media or social media we are unaware of or we have no idea at all right so we actually live in this situation or this complex environment where every day we make choices in the state of uncertainty when things are unknown to us we do not know what the future holds for us we do not know what the company's future is and yet we make choices so the manager does not possess complete information about the alternatives and whatever information is available may not be completely re reliable today we're going to hear news is about industries companies products services online business so much information is abundant right but how far can we know is it reliable is the information trustworthy is the information truth or is the information just a rumor that's is what has to be questioned here information is available but is it trustworthy is it reliable continuing with the concept modern approaches to decision making under uncertainty now here we have approaches under uncertainty itself risk analysis decision tree analysis and preference or utility theory the first one is analyzing risk as we just mentioned right risk is a probability of either gain or either loss managers who follow this approach analyze the size and nature of the risk involved in choosing a particular course of action that means you have let's say two to three alternatives out of which you are choosing one alternative and when you are coming to the decision of one of those alternatives you are analyzing the size and the nature that is how huge the risk is and what nature does the risk uh, consist of the decision represents a trade off between the risk and the benefits associated with a particular course of action so when you are actually analyzing the risk component with each of the available alternative you're not just looking at how much you can lose read that word it's a trade off between the risk and the benefit that means you're not just looking at each alternative's risk that is the probability of loss but you're also looking at the probability of benefit right if i invest in this particular option there is a possibility of risk but there is also possibility of i might have doubling my income in this particular option right so it is a trade off between the loss that you can incur and also the benefits you can reap with respect to each particular course of action it involves quantitative and qualitative risk assessment quantitative is with numerical terms or market performance or uh, uh, profit last year's profit or previous year's profit you are studying qualitative is in terms of uh, whether the decision taken by the company is applicable or is it uh, uh, you know uh, the mutual decision made by the board of directors right how much is it impacting the reputation of the company right risk management now in case you incur a risk how are you able to manage it do you have a backup plan right and communication very important it's not just the board of directors take the decision and leave it 
they have to be responsible enough for the decision they have taken to communicate it to their managers to their lower level employees etc and provides the manager a better understanding of risk and the benefits associated with proposed course of action please notice the word better understanding now if i give you a task and i just ask you to accomplish the task your immediate reply to me would be what is the purpose of this task correct you would ask your teacher correct ma'am you want me us to complete this assignment now what's the purpose what is the learning outcome right i know this task is challenging but what is our benefit likewise even the company ceos or board of directors have to explain to their team or their department heads what could be the risk as well as the benefits you just can't talk about one side of the coin right we need to talk about both the sides of the coin that is the losses that you might face be ready for it right and the benefits that you might reap also be prepared for it right as the saying goes right uh, prepare right hope for the best right of course we all hope for our ideas to work or decisions to reap benefits but also be prepared for the worst so in case there is a loss what is your reaction or how are you prepared to bear that loss the second category here is decision tree analysis so this is considered as one of the best ways to analyze a decision among all the three categories that we just looked at that is uh, risk analysis as well as uh, uh, utility pre uh, preference utility analysis so this decision tree approach it involves a graphical representation now if i give you a big chart of uh, numbers and data uh, it would be very difficult to analyze right only an expert will be able to chart out what's an important out of the entire given data but if i show to you in terms of a graphical representation now this topic here is talking about a tree now all of us have seen a tree correct and when i show it to you in a diagram right in form of a tree right that's called as decision tree analysis of each alternative course of action and its possible outcomes risk and the benefits associated then don't you think the decision would be easy yes or no right instead of showing it to you in terms of only numbers if i show to you the risk and the benefits in terms of each alternative available then the decision making is quicker and also a wise decision for the company so i'll just show you a picture of how these things are done so what you see on the screen is called as the decision tree analysis this is just a proforma right so usually this is how it works right so there is a decision that you need to take there are four alternatives to it and the benefits and the uh, you know the losses are being listed for each alternative and what is the final decision or uh, to be made by the company called so when you look at it just the frame or just the graphical representation your mind will actually grasp it much faster right it it will enable you to speed up your thinking and also to make a wise decision with a shorter span of time clear number 3 is preference or utility theory this approach is based on the notion that individual attitudes towards risk vary now guys any company any given corporation or industry is made up of people yes or no although we call company as an artificial a uh, person uh, i mean uh, which have been registered under the law but can the company run by itself of course not right the companies have to run by the people individuals so therefore the attitude of each individual towards risk we need to consider right one manager is ready to take up more risk another manager is ready to take less risk right so therefore what we are talking about here is individuals attitudes towards risk will vary 
Some individuals are willing to take only small risk as I just told. They want to avoid risk at only. Some are ready to take up the challenge. As an example here, if there was a 60% chance of a decision being right, it might seem reasonable that the person would take the risk. Now, if I give you an option, let's say uh, if you invest in gold or you invest in a mutual fund, okay, I give you an option and I say if you invest, there is 60% chance that you will definitely reap money or reap benefit. I mean to say, we'll get a good return on your investment. Okay, so there will be some people who would look at this option in this particular manner that yes, 60% the person says there is chance for profit. So let me go ahead and invest. But there's another person who looks in to another perspective who says an individual might not wish to take the risk. Why? Since the chances of the decision being wrong are 40%. Can you notice that? The first sentence is in one perspective. The second sentence is completely another opposite perspective. The first person looked at only the probability of winning or the probability of return on investment. While the other side, they only looked at the probability of loss, right? 40 percentage, there is a probability that my investment might not return back to me or the returns on my investment may turn out to be zero or even completely negative. So I would rather not invest in this option only. Therefore, what we need to understand is the attitudes toward risk varies with events and with people. So every individual, it respects with you as well as me or you can categorize uh, the risk with respect to, uh, you know, the amount of earnings people have or with respect to age related, right? The uh, retired or pension earning people definitely would take up, uh, would uh, respect to uh, take a chance of higher risk because they have a backup of pension, a backup of PF or backup of, you know, enough earnings all their life. But if you talk about a person who's 25 year old uh, uh, adult who has just started their work life with zero savings, zero pension or zero PF, nothing. Would they take up more risk? No, they don't have a backup in case they lose all their money. So of course, they will take up lesser amount of risk. So the risk or the attitude of risk towards people uh, so the attitude of risk towards the decisions taken or towards the situations will vary from person to person.